so today I'm going to show you a quick way to use some pre-cut fabrics to make a beautiful star quilt. It comes together really quickly and I'm using patriotic colors to um, make a quick quilt that will look great through the 4th of July holidays. So keep on watching and see how quickly the star block comes together. So to make this star block, I used a charm pack, which is five by five inch square pieces of fabric. You can also cut your own fabric, which is which, what I did here because I had yardage and a color I wanted. But a charm pack will make this go a lot quicker because you won't need to cut your blocks. And then you'll need a jelly roll of fabric. So my background in my blocks is a solid color. So if you want to mimic the look of mine, you'll need your charm pack to be solid color and then your jelly roll to be the pattern that you like. Um, you can do this however you want though. It doesn't need to be exactly like mine. I'm just letting you know how to pick your fabrics if you want it to look like mine. So for one star block, you're going to need two strips of the jelly roll that you're gonna use and you're gonna need six of your charm blocks. So four of your charm blocks you're not gonna cut at all. So I have four here that are not cut. And then you're going to cut two of your charm blocks into quarters so that they will be little 2.5 inch squares. So you're essentially gonna need um, eight of these little squares for one block. So to do that, you'll cut your, you're gonna cut your charm block at 2.5 inches. So you would do a cut here and there to get four of those squares. Okay, so that's the first cut you're gonna make from your two of your squares. And then your jelly roll, you're going to need to cut four strips that are seven inches and four that are five inches. So you'll have four that are uh, four that are five inches and four that are seven inches. And I'll have all these measurements on my website so that you don't need to take notes or write them down and all the steps will be there as well. So now that you got your cuts done for your first block, you're going to want to get your little squares ready. So what I like to do is lay them out because you're gonna dog ear these on the, on the top of each of your strips you cut from the jelly roll. So I get them all laid out and then we're gonna mark them up because you're gonna sew them corner to corner. All right, so we got those ready and then we're going to mark them. Okay, now that we got them all laid out, we're gonna mark corner to corner. Now, all of your seven inch strips, you're gonna wanna mark in the same direction. Okay, so for these, the direction matters. And this is the line you're gonna sew on, okay? So mark. And this is why I like to lay them out together, just so that I know that I'm marking them in the correct direction. Okay, and then the shorter ones, you're gonna mark in the opposite direction. Now, I always mark them because I wanna make sure that I'm gonna get these 
in a straight line corner to corner but if you're confident in sewing quarter to corner without marking them then you can do that as well too okay so now we're going to head to the sewing machine and sew right along that line we marked okay so i have these all marked and ready to go and i'm going to keep my needle in the middle position and i'm going to sew right across that line that we marked and to make this easier, I'm just going to go ahead and chain piece them all. And when I'm chain piecing on corners, I just find it easier to raise my presser foot and raise my needle and sew because otherwise the corner seems to always want to pull up if I don't make sure the corner is right under the needle. So I love making these because I think they come together really quickly with the pre-cuts because you don't have a lot of cutting you need to do. And once you get everything ready and lined up, it comes together really quickly, especially if you chain piece them all. So we have all of them sewn for one block. I'm just going to cut the strings here connecting them together since I chain piece them quickly. And then we're just going to cut the little dog ears off and then press them and the blocks will already be ready to assemble. Okay, so now we're just going to trim off the ends here of the dog ears that we sewed on. And then after we cut all those, we're just going to press this open. So that just help make, helps make the points on our stars. So that's where we're going to press open. So I'm just going to cut all these off and press, and then I'll show you how to lay these out for the quick stars. these come together so quickly especially after you get the hang of sewing them and get little tricks for you know chain piecing and things like that so I can make two blocks with three jelly roll strips and then like I said it takes six of the charm squares to make one block. So that'll give you an idea if, um, if you have a size in mind that you want your quilt to be how many blocks you'll need. And my blocks measured about three, 13 and a half inches before piecing it. So here are our strips now. I'm gonna press them and then we'll look at assembly. Okay, so my strips are all pressed open. And what you're gonna wanna do is remember all these uncut charm squares, these five by five blocks, these are going to be the corners of the stars. So your shorter strips are gonna get sewn on first. And remember your points are gonna be wanting to face out on the sides of the block. And then after we sew these on, 
here is our next strip going along the other side. Okay, so we're going to sew these shorter strips on first. So I fold those over and chain piece them on, press them open, and then put on the longer strip. I'm gonna grab some needles and pin them on so when I stack them by the machine, if I need to adjust them, I will, but this will just help me remember the side that they're gonna be sewed on just so I don't mix up. All right, so let's sew those on really quick. Okay, so I set my machine up for a quarter inch seam and I'm just gonna make sure this strip is lined up well. Okay, and then I'm just gonna sew the quarter inch seam. Okay, and I'm gonna chain piece these on too. Since these are all the same color, the same block, I'm not worried about order or anything like that. Not worried about getting them all out of order because each of these blocks is actually going to look the same. Those are all on. I'm just gonna cut the strings, press these, and then we'll take a look at how the other strip will attach on. Okay, now we have first part of our block sewn on. And then we'll lay them out. And we're gonna be sewing the longer strip on right up next to the pattern strip here. Okay, so just get these all ready. And we're gonna chain piece them on, press, and then sew these squares all together. Okay, so again, we're just gonna sew a quarter inch seam. I'm just gonna line the strip up along the side of the block. And sew. And after I sew all four of these on, we're going to press them again. And then it's just a matter of sewing two of the squares together and then those two rectangles together to complete the star. And then you could just sew all the squares together or you could do sashing around your blocks like I did. There's a lot of options. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these strings apart here, press them, and then we're going to sew the blocks together. We are almost finished here, coming together so fast. Okay, so here are our four blocks. And like I said, they look exactly the same, right? All of them are the same order. It's just how you turn them to bring the design together. So I'm just going to sew a quarter inch seam along these two, press it open, and then I'll be able to sew the two main sides together. Okay, so the top and bottom of the star is sewn together, quarter inch seam and pressed. 
So the last thing we need to do is just flip these together and sew a quarter inch seam along here. I know you see I'm not doing any pins at these points here. Now, if you wanna get really accurate points, then I would suggest pinning along there. Um, I call myself an ish quilter. Um, and <laughs> if you read my blog at all, you'll see I talk about that quite a bit that um, I don't worry about points and seams matching exactly all the time. Sometimes I do, depending on the quilt, um, and I want everything to be very precise, but most of the time I really just line it up and sew. And so the ish comes from that my lines are straight-ish, my cuts are perfect-ish. <laughs> I just really like to have fun with quilting, so... Um, I don't want to let myself stress over everything like that all of the time. And that's not to say that it's wrong to or that I never do. I would definitely like to get better at free motion quilting and things like that. But I just mainly do this because I like seeing the project come together. It's really relaxing to me, and if I worry about all my points and seams and everything like that, then it just doesn't become as fun for me. I do this to relax, not to stress out over all of my little points. So, just like that, the star block is here. So, I'm going to press it so that we can take a good look at it. So, I made a big to-do about my points, and as you can see, some of them meet up really nicely and some are just a little off and the funny thing is is with this fabric I think it's not as easy to tell since the reds kind of come together there and a lot of them are actually meet up really nicely so if you really want them to meet up perfectly like I said just pin along the seams and um, pull the pins out when you get close to them but otherwise I really love this star block I think it comes together really nicely and it is really, really fast to put together, especially if you're using pre-cuts. I mean, this block came together in just a few minutes. So I think you could have a lot of fun with this, not just doing patriotic, but some fun, bright fabrics that you have will work really nicely in this pattern. So I'm gonna show you a few examples of what you could make using these blocks. Um, you could do a fun pillow for your couch or put a quilt together, a wall hanging, and even a tote bag. So have fun making this block. 